Buses are the most widely used form of public transportation in America that counts for nearly half of all public transit trips. But lately, there have been increasing incidents of violence, and passengers aren't the only targets. As Lisa Guerrero reports, drivers are in danger, too. From unruly passengers to all-out brawls, even wild shootouts. Riding the bus these days can be a dangerous endeavor, especially for the bus drivers. Watch as a group of teenage girls brutally assault this San Diego bus driver. Here in Charlotte, it's time to stand up. bus drivers are saying the violence needs to stop. I fight for my city. I need my city to start fighting for me. As soon as I walk out that door, it's just like, hmm. I don't know if I'm coming home. Charlotte bus driver David Fullard says he was so concerned about the violence, he started carrying a gun on the job. Sure enough, take a look at this scene straight out of the Wild West, which Fullard says started when this passenger pulled a gun after he refused to let him off between stops. Surveillance video shows the passenger, Omari Tobias, draw his gun first, then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Tobias was charged with an assault with a deadly weapon. Well, this is the gunshot wound. Fullard was shot in the arm, but he was terminated for carrying a gun on the job. If there was a police presence on the bus that day, um, that commuter would have not gotten all the way down the aisle with his firearm. Um, if there was a police presence on the bus that day, David Fuller would still have a job. Now speaking out for the first time only to Inside Edition, Fullard and his attorney, Ken Harris, are demanding safer conditions. The unfortunate issue is that it has become a part of their work experience, is that they're now having to factor in the possibility that they may face a violent circumstance in the workplace. And uh, that's a tough uh, hurdle to climb if you're facing it every day. Now drivers across the country are pushing for plastic partitions to help protect them from the violence. But the grieving mother of one bus driver who was shot and killed says that's not enough. She wants the partitions to be bulletproof. Last February, Charlotte bus driver Ethan Rivera was on his normal route when he was shot in the head by this angry driver in a fit of road rage. When I saw him, I already knew that he was gone. Now his mother, Sylvia Rivera, is fighting for bulletproof glass to be installed in all city buses. You're holding a picture of your son yes. right now. Could bulletproof glass have saved your son's life? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Today, Fullard says unless something changes, more drivers could end up just like him or worse. Something that's got to be done about it. It's not just in Charlotte. This is all over. The Charlotte Transit Authority says it is committed to everyone's safety, but will continue to use plexiglass partitions, pointing out that no buses in the country use bulletproof glass. In New York, the agency is trying out stronger partitions to help protect drivers.